Welcome back to This Is A Commander Channel, where this is a Commander Channel, and today I'm going to talk about Commander, Tough Rules, and Cool Interactions, Episode 52. Today's episode is going to go over one of the new cards from the Warhammer 40k product, and it's not a new effect. We've seen cards in Magic's past that do this, but since we're getting this new card, I figured what a better time than now to cover this effect. The card is The Golden Throne, and it's a legendary artifact for four generic mana with two abilities. The first one is a replacement effect that says, if you would lose the game, instead exile the Golden Throne, and your life total becomes one. And then its second ability is an activated ability that says, tap, sacrifice a creature to add three mana in any combination of colors. I'll be sure to run this in two of my decks at least, my Grismald deck that loves to see token creatures dying and I want to sacrifice them, and my non-black reanimator deck that has a tough enough time to get creatures into my graveyard already. But the thing that I want to focus on for today's episode is that replacement effect that it has. So let's dive into it. What all does this sort of effect actually save you from? Very quick though, before we get into that, I'll give you your bonus rules fact now. Most of the time I put them in at the end of videos and I feel like a lot of people miss them because of that. And yet sometimes they can be the lesser known things and so I'm sad that people do miss them. So today's bonus fact is around that last little bit of the ability that says your life total becomes one. One of my earlier episodes went much more into detail about this, but anytime your life changes, it is considered life loss or life gain, respectfully. So if one of your opponents had out a Archfiend of Despair, which says that your opponents can't gain life, and you would have died because your life went below zero, let's go with minus 10 for this example, then the golden throne being exiled and then setting your life total to one would actually be a life gain of 11. But the Archfiend of Despair would prevent this from happening. So then after it exiles and it replace, the uh, replacement effect has finished, you would still be at minus 10 life and you would just die again sad. So now on to a more positive note. Let's say you're running the Golden Throne in a deck that has a Lathiel, the Bounteous Dawn, and you're again dying because someone has attacked you and gotten your life total down to minus 10. This time when the Golden Throne finishes and sets your life to one, you have an additional 11 life that you have gained. So an additional 11 plus one plus one counters to distribute among your creatures at the beginning of the next instep. Okay, now back on to the main course. What does this effect save you from? First off, the broad answer is not everything. As mentioned earlier, if you're taking what would be lethal damage from combat damage, or maybe someone is casting a massive uh, torment of hellfire, causing you to lose a lot more life than you have, these sorts of things that have all the damage or loss of life happening all at once will be saved by the throne. Having said that, if there are multiple individual instances of lethal damage being dealt to you, then you will probably not survive after all is said and done. For example, let's say now you're at positive 10 life, and your opponent is playing their Jetmir deck. They have out a Perforos God of the Forge, and then they cast a Secure the Waste for X equals to 6. This will create six 1-1 one, one warriors under their control, which will trigger their Perforos six times for two damage each. After the first four resolve, you'll be at two life. So then the fifth one will resolve, at which point state-based actions are going to be checked and the game will see that, hey, you should lose because you're at zero life. But then this game action of you losing will be replaced by the Golden Throne and it will be exiled and set your life to one instead of you losing. But then there is still one more trigger ability from that Perforos that is yet to resolve. So you have two more damage that will be dealt to you, and then again, state-based actions will check, and the game will see you at minus one health, which is zero or less, and it will again cause you to lose. But this time, there's no throne to replace that event, and you will just actually lose. 
There is one other similar event to this, but you're a little safer from losing again to this one. Drawing from an empty library, often referred to being milled out, is a way that you can lose the game and cause your throne to replace that game loss event. So, as long as you don't draw another card after your throne is exiled, then you're safe. In most situations, the card draw that will set off your golden throne is going to be the first card that you draw for your turn during your draw step. So if you don't do anything else that turn on your turn that makes you draw a card, you could possibly win on your turn. But if anything happens forcing you to draw, like a triggered ability that doesn't say the word may, then when you go to draw that one, the throne is long, no longer around to keep you alive. The last thing that I want to mention that this throne has an actual practical way of saving you from losing the game is from a one-off effect that says you lose the game. For example, your opponent is running an Atrata the Silencer deck, and she says, whenever Atrata deals combat damage to a player, exile target creature that player controls and put a hit counter on that card. That player loses the game if they own three or more exiled cards with hit counters on them. Atrata's owner shuffles Atrata into their library. It's important that this game loss event is part of the resolution of her triggered ability. It's not a static ability that is just constantly checking to see if you own three or more cards with hit counters on them. So her ability would trigger, and when it would try to make you lose the game, your throne will step in and stop it, forcing your Atrata opponent to get her back out and trigger her ability again for it to cause you to lose the game. Okay, now on to the things that this will not save you from. Yes, technically it will save you from these temporarily, but in a way that isn't practical, as you'll immediately die, like with the Perforos example, but even faster, with no chance for you to respond. The way that state-based actions work is that they check any time a player would gain priority, meaning that they are checked before you get a chance to respond. Also important to know about state-based actions is that they continuously recheck over and over and over until they see that there are no more state-based actions that need to be handled. So, for example, if you were to end up losing the game because you end up with 10 or more poison counters on you, then the next time that state-based actions are checked, they're going to see that you have 10 or more poison counters on and you'll lose. But then the throne will replace this game event loss and your life will be set to one instead. But this basically doesn't matter at all because then state-based actions will immediately check again and the game will see that you still are at 10 or more poison counters and you'll again lose again with this time no throne in play to replace it. The throne only sets your life it doesn't remove any counters from you as a player. So Infect isn't something that this throne will practically save you from. In a similar vein, Commander Lethal Damage will be treated this same way. Once you're at 21 or more Commander Damage marked on you, even after the throne stops you from losing and sets your life total to one, you will still have that same Commander Damage marked on you and you'll lose once state-based actions are checked again. Okay, I lied a little. There is one bonus fact here towards the end. If a player scoops, or more technically concedes, a game, this Golden Throne will not prevent them from doing this. When a player concedes, they leave the game, and then once they've left the game is when they will lose the game. When a player leaves the game, they have lost control of all of their permanents, so they would no longer control the throne in order for it to replace their game loss. You can't stop a player from conceding the game. Uh, okay, now I lied a little bit more, sort of, not so much a bonus fact, but a bonus question. I first want to thank you all for making it to the end of this video. Uh, I and the YouTube algorithm appreciate it, and it helps my channel to grow. Now, uh, on to the bonus question. I'd love to see what your answers are and to see what you all think would happen in this scenario. Earlier, I mentioned how the Golden Throne would save you from a that player loses the game effect, like on Atrata. But what if you have out the throne and I cast a spell like Mortal Kombat?
which says, it's an enchantment that says, at the beginning of your upkeep, if 20 or more creature cards are in your graveyard, you win the game. And then we get to my next upkeep, and the Mortal Kombat triggers and resolves, causing me to win the game. What would then happen with your Golden Throne? Would it step in to save the day from me winning the game? Anyhow, that's all I've got for today's episode. As always, I hope that all of you found this video to be entertaining at least, and I hope that even a few of you learned something about the crazy rules in this great game of magic. Have a good one. Ta-ta. And thank goodness I'm done recording now because I made so many mistakes there. If you are still listening, oof, man, I could not speak today. A lot of mistakes.